Okay, this is about burning uh, in photography. Burning meaning burning parts of a photo that uh, may be too bright. And when it's too bright, it's gonna pull your eye away from what's important. And this is a good photo, and it just needs a little bit of work done in the burning department. So if, it, if you can look right down here, this bright area is even brighter than, than the house, or for the most part it is. It's much brighter than the garage door at least. And you have an area back here that's competing with the front. You don't want to overburn this. And then this area right here needs to be burned a little bit. So this is definitely a highlight area, but I'm going to try burning the highlight area and see what happens. So when you hear me tell you to burn parts of a photo, this is what I'm talking about. Think of burning as like uh, like toasting it, sort of. When you toast the, the toast, it gets darker. So I'm going to go to highlights and see what happens here. Now, I'm going to make my brush slightly larger than the area I want to burn. And just going to click and hold it there. And see, I brought it down just a little bit. And it doesn't look too dull. It actually does look more realistic this way uh, by keeping that in there. Because if you were to crop this photo like this and crop out that part, look what you lose. You lose uh, a great part of the shadows, which is really cool in this photo. So now I'm going to cancel the, the uh, cropping. So now I burn this part. Now I'm going to go and burn the highlights and possibly the midtones on this area over here. So using the bracket key, I'm just going to burn the highlights. And there are not that many highlights there, so I'm going to burn the midtones. And I'm just going to let that go. Again, it's it's I wouldn't try to clone that out. Not unless this is like the most perfect photo you've ever taken, and but this part was ruining it for you. And then I'm going to burn the midtones and the highlights back here. Just a little bit. I don't want to make it dark back there. Uh, let's go work on it on this chimney a little bit. So that will bring it down. You can even bring down parts here, but I don't know if you can see it or not. By doing that and not being careful, I created a, 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 an inverse halo. Like this is dark and there's like a little halo around it, so I'm not going to do that. And so now the photo is better. You have less distractions going on, and it's a nice, sharp, well, well composed photo. And remember, you do save as when you're finished.